Hello everyone, this is group from Andrew Alex Putin segment. Our topic is about the environmental impact of a warehouse. And it seems like a very popular topic from now. The environmental impact of the industry now is becoming more serious and I think that almost all the company need to keep attention about the environmental impact for their industry even in warehousing. And some people think like the warehousing does little environmental impact on the environment. I don't agree like and after our research we still think that so many environmental impact inside here. So let me check more. Warehouse. A warehouse may imprint a point where goods are stored for a long period. And the where this that remain an important function of the warehouse is more associated today with items of flow, movement, and the rapid fulfillment of the customer owners, and the provision of customizing and very adding service. So now the warehouse is not just a warehouse, and it have more function. So if we have more functions, so that we need to spend more energy and so many things inside. So more activities so that will produce more environment impact accessing the overall impact of warehousing concentration has to be given to the relative scales and trends um, an example of those things that you have to consider is the the extent of the land that is occupied the space where you build your warehouse that must be one thing to consider and the second thing is the direct energy that is used um, the oil and gas fossil generated electricity and this is it, it's the involved that you have to make use of uh, renewable energy probably many warehouse companies are shifting to using um, solar energy and other forms of renewable energy and then um, we have to also consider the emissions produced primarily carbon dioxide um, to avoid kinds of, of air pollution also um, another thing that must be considered is the uh, water consumption so you need to take note of that when uh, accessing you can see um, the amount of waste uh, water that is from the warehouse. Another thing is embedded energy contained in the building materials and levels of insulation. Uh, this must be critically looked into to ensure that heat and all forms of uh, fumes from inside the warehouse does not escape to the um, outside, so that you don't have any effect on uh, people who live in the environment. So there are various environmental impacts of warehousing that contribute to general hazards and risks caused again by warehousing. For example, if I can be just one of the examples. It's one of the risks that can greatly contribute to the environmental situation. Noise pollution um, is one of uh, warehousing environmental impacts. Uh, it comes during construction, operation, or with vehicular traffic when the warehousing is operating. Uh, well, as seen from the picture, there are uh, some of the pollution noise pollution effects most uh, dangerous are of course hearing causing hearing problems um, high blood pressure problems and stress of workers warehousing also contribute to air pollution such as odor dust and greenhouse gas emissions soil and water pollution uh, some of the examples of them are erosion, sedimentation, wastewater, polluting, and groundwater contamination. 
and uh, of course soil and water pollutions are greatly connected to one each other since uh, for example uh, it can start all from soil pollution and uh, going uh, the waste coming from soil to groundwater contamination it can also cause water pollution traffic and transport impacts arising from the use of premises for storage blending mixing packaging and distribution it also affects in general environmental impacts hello my name is Alexander Dionchev and I'm going to tell you about the ways how can warehouse be more environmentally friendly. So first of all, uh, supply chain department should think forward about how to make it more efficient to transport the goods. So they should think how to use less packaging materials. Then biodegradable packaging and also new lightning turning off equipment, proper installations and building materials, proper disposal of waste. And then there are a lot of ways how to reduce environmental impact of warehouse. First of all, improve energy efficiency. As we know, for some sort of goods, the temperature shouldn't be high or shouldn't be low. So, the engineers should figure out what's the best temperature and keep it and save energy on it. Warehouse lightning, the same. Mechanical handling equipment. And also, harness green energy. Biomass like wood, cheap or other waste. Wind, solar, thermal, solar, photovoltaics. Design sustainability into buildings. That's pretty much, and thank you for your attention.